Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong. Welcome to the back office. I'm not into some sort of strange kinky furry thing. I'm just wearing a onesie because it's warm and I like it. If you have one of these, and this is a Ghetto Blaster, this was um, kindly sent to me by uh, Tim Nichols, who um, is Woodpunk. He's got a brilliant book on arcade marquees. I'll leave a link down below. Uh, this is a radio with uh, an iPod, iPod dock for one of these. You might own one of these. This is an old iPod video and I love this. It's a really great machine and I've had it for a long time. I put Rockbox on it as you can see there. But actually it uh, has a fault now and it'll only play if I squeeze the uh, screen in a certain weird way. So this is a project for another day. Let me just turn that off. Um, so these docks now have become redundant because they have a 30 pin connector. Your modern phones, uh, your modern Apple phones certainly don't have that. They've got their Thunderport, Thunderbird, whatever, the, uh, whatever they're calling at the moment. So you can see in there you've got your little dock hole. So what's the solution? You know, do you throw away all your docks, especially your big boom box ones like this, which actually found, sound fantastic. No, you don't. What you do is you go onto Amazon or eBay and you buy one of these. Let's just unwrap it. We'll unpeel its coatings. It looks like a black lozenge because that's what it is. There we go. And what this is, it's quite simple. It's a Bluetooth adapter. You've got the 30 pin connector on the bottom. You've got the uh, little LED area here, and all you do is you plop that straight into your device. So if you have this, you open it up. Now this is quite tricky because you've got to get your fingers all the way in there because it's very short, probably about the same size as maybe an iPod Nano. But we'll, we'll endeavor to jam that in. It's a bit of a struggle actually, but there we go. That's home, so we can shut the door. If we turn this on, it's on iPod mode here, you can see the light. I'll get my phone here in my hand. All you need to do is pair the Bluetooth. Oh, and actually mine's already paired, so of course, that's fantastic. And if I just try to find a piece of music, and because we know <laughs> copyright law means you can't really play this, I have to play it for like two seconds so you can hear it. There you go. If you know that tune, please leave it in the comments down below. See if you can uh, recognize after a few bars. So there you go, you've got it in there. It's got a nice flashing blue light to show you that it's activated and it's nice and simple. So if you go to a charity shop actually, or a car boot sale, you'll find loads of these old docks lying around for a few quid. I bought this particular dongle for four pounds and that was from a UK uh, seller of it. But if you look on uh, eBay and Amazon and really shop around, you can find them as little as two pounds or even three pounds. But frankly, I'd rather pay the extra pound and get it uh, pretty much the next day rather than wait, um, you know, two weeks in the post just to save save that couple of quid. That's up to you. So uh, yeah, if you've got some of these, please let me know. Oh, there's one, one, one caveat. These only support the analog uh, signal outputs, right? That means they'll only work in the older style docks or the more basic docks. If you're currently using one of the fancy Bose docks, they won't work because the Bose docks and the fancier docks have their own digital to analog converter in the actual unit itself. So they take a digital stream from the iPod and then they form the analog audio in them themselves and then play it through their amplifiers. Uh, this unit only works with the very basic ones which take the audio output from the iPod directly. So that's the one thing. But you know, maybe if you're unsure about your dock, maybe that two pounds is worth investing. It's not too much of an investment. Please click subscribe if you'd like to get more of these and please feel free to leave comments or ask questions down below. And as ever, thanks for watching.